In this section, we're going to be exploring angle pairs. So let's start off by looking at some key concepts, types of angle pairs. The first one we have is adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two coplanar angles with a common side, a common vertex, and no common interior point. So let's look at an example, angles 1 and 2. So as you can see, angles 1 and angles 2 share a common side and have a common vertex. So they are adjacent angles, angles that are right next to each other and share a side or adjacent angles. Now we're going to look at vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles whose sides are opposite rays. So here you can see we have angles 1, 2, 3, and 4. Angles 1 and 2 are vertical angles because they are on opposite sides of each other. Angles 3 and 4 are vertical angles because they are also on opposite sides. Now we're going to look at complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. Each angle is called the complement of the other. So let's look at an example of this. Here we have a right angle, and it is split into two pieces. It's split into angle 1 and angle 2. So angle 1 and angle 2 split the 90 degree angle. So when we add angle 1 and angle 2 together, they equal 90 degrees, so they are complementary angles. Now we're going to look at supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 180. Each angle is called the supplement of the other. So here we, in this example we have angles 3 and 4. Angles 3 and 4 split 180 degree angle which is basically a straight line so when we add angles 3 and 4 together they add up to 180 degrees making them supplementary angles so keep in mind that complementary is 90 and supplementary is 180 now we're gonna look at linear pair postulate a linear pair is a pair of adja adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays the angles of a linear pair form a straight angle. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. So here you can see that angle ABD and angle CBD are supplementary angles because when we add them together, they form 180 degrees, making them supplementary. Now we're going to look at an example of finding missing angle measures. So here we have angle KPL and angle JPL are, are a linear pair. The measure of angle KPL equals 2x plus 24, and the measure of angle JPL equals 4x plus 36. And we want to know what are the measures of angle KPL and angle JPL. So let's start off by drawing a diagram. We know that they are a linear pair, so we can draw a straight line and then split the line. And then we can form the two angles, so we have angle KPL and angle JPL. Now angle KPL is 2x plus 24 and angle JPL is 4x plus 36. So using the definition of supplementary angles, the measure of angle KPL plus measure of angle JPL equals 180. It equals 180 because they are supplementary angles and also a linear pair, which means they're supplementary. So now we can go ahead and substitute in the values we have. Measure of angle KPL equals 2x plus 24 plus the measure of angle JPL which is 4x plus 36 equals 180. Now we can go ahead and combine like terms. 2x plus 4x equals 6x. Positive 24 
plus 36 equals 60 which equals 180 and now we can go ahead and isolate the 6x so in order to do that we want to subtract 60 from the left side and if we subtract 60 from the left we got to subtract 60 from the right that leaves us with x 6x equals 120 and we can now go ahead and divide both sides by 6 to get x equals 20 now we have to evaluate the original expressions using x equals 20 so the measure of angle kpl equals 2x plus 24 so we can plug in 20 for x we get 2 times 20 plus 24 which simplifies to 40 plus 24 which would simplify to 64 so the measure of angle kpl is 64 now the measure of angle jpl was 4x plus 36 so let's plug in 20 we would get 4 times 20 plus 36 which simplifies to 80 plus 36 which would then equal 116 now we're gonna look at a problem that requires us to use angle bisector an angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles so let's look at an example of this here we have ray AC bisects angle DAB. If, ang if the measure of angle DAC equals 58, what is the measure of angle DAB? Because they told us that ray AC is an angle bisector of angle DAB, we know that the measure of angle DAC equals the measure of angle CAB. And we know that the measure of angle DAC is 58, so that means that the measure of angle CAB must also be 58 degrees. So now that we know the measure of both angles, we can use the angle addition postulate. The measure of angle CAB plus the measure of angle DAC equals the measure of angle DAB, which is what we're trying to solve for. And now we can go ahead and substitute we know that the measure of angle DAB equals 58 plus 58 because we have just solved for those degrees. And when we go ahead and simplify this, 58 plus 58 gives us 116. So the measure of angle DAB is 116. Remember that only when you see the red lines on your diagram can you tell if angles are congruent. If there are no lines, you cannot assume that the angles are congruent.